Now, hundreds of viewers have been sending in questions about the COVID-19 outbreak, and we're working to answer them with the facts, not fear. Joining us today, Dr. Andrew Carroll, who sits on the board of the American Academy of Family Physicians. Hi, Dr. Carroll. Great to have you with us. Hey, Trim. Great to see you again. Here's our first question for you. A viewer asked this. Can disinfecting wipes like Clorox ever expire or go bad over time? They don't really go bad, but they do expire. So if you're using a Clorox chlorine wipe, you know, it smells like chlorine. A good indicator that it's still good is that you can smell the chlorine. Um, we use Clorox uh, chlorine wipes here, um, but we go through them very, really quickly, so we never hit the expiration date. But they do have expiration dates. So if you have yours, make sure you seal it, close it, so it doesn't dry out. Um, a lot of the Clorox wipes that are over the counter, the, normal, the ones you would get at the store, have scent added to them. So you can't really go off the scent to tell whether or not they're still good. You should probably be using the expiration date. Okay, good to know. Now, as you know, Dr. Carroll, restaurants are allowed to open in Arizona starting today. So one viewer wanted to ask you, as a doctor, would you feel safe going to a restaurant today? So I have my favorite restaurants. Obviously, um, from those restaurants, I've been getting pickup and delivery uh, service for those um, just to keep them, you know, going and to eat their food because I love their food. I don't feel safe going to sit in a dine-in restaurant right now. I think that we are still seeing the prevalence of the disease go up in the state. I've seen in my practice plenty of patients who are completely asymptomatic. They don't know they have it. They are the silent carriers. So these are folks who might feel really healthy, want to go out with their friends and their family, go to a restaurant, and be at a table uh, right next to me and I don't know that they're there and I don't know that they're spreading. So the question is, is am I, am I ready to go at a, into a dine-in restaurant? I, not really. Um, I'm, ready, I'm ready to continue eating their food and having it delivered to me or pick up or whatever, but I'm just not ready to sit in a dine-in restaurant yet. And a lot of people feel your way as well as the opposite too, understandably so on both sides. But so I'm wondering what would you, what would it take for you to feel safe? So I, I think that many restaurants are already doing this. They're reducing the number of tables in, in their dining rooms. They're separating them out. They're making sure that their waiters and waitresses are wearing masks and wearing gloves and washing and, and making sure that the tables are disinfected. I think as, as we get used to this, as, as we are able to get widespread screening testing for maybe every single uh, wait table employee, um, I think that there will be great reassurances. Maybe we even need a certification system to show that restaurants are doing the right thing, are following the CDC guidelines, are following the Arizona Department of Health guidelines. And maybe there's a, a sign on their door that says, hey, we're doing those things. I think if we have those in place, I think there'll be great reassurances and maybe we can go back. Um, but as, as long as we see this prevalence rising, especially in Arizona, especially since we, as we're getting back together again, I think that there, there needs to be um, concern and trepidation. You, we need to continue to be very, very careful. But, but I think restaurants are, are starting to do the right thing and starting to think in that direction. All right, good point. Dr. Carroll, thank you so much for your insight. Remember, we want to answer your questions, so post them on our Facebook page or text us. You can also download our app.